Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you guys and what your person is thinking and feeling. So what is it? Virgo's person thinking and feeling? A new beginning. Daffodil Fairy, number 10, under the deck is Joy. Okay. For some of you, this may be a new person that you're meeting. <clears throat> oh, yeah, because when I split the deck, Seven of Cups is options, dating. So some of you, if you're dating online, um, you could be meeting somebody new. A lot of sevens here. Sevens, eights. It's actually this week. All right, what is going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Nine of Wands, the Ace of Coins, and the, wow, the Two of Cups. Under the deck is the world, so some brand new beginning. So again, for some of you, you may be meeting somebody new coming in here, especially if you're already dating, that's how it looks. Uh, you might meet uh, someone that you really match with well. You are under the deck, let me see, spying, wish fulfilled. You could be spying on someone or someone is spying on you. You may be dating an earth sign like yourself. You may find someone who's a really good match. Now, for those of you who are already seeing someone, even if there's been some trouble in the past, some arguing, some ups and downs, uh, there definitely could be a new beginning for the two of you. So that's what this tells me. What is this Nine of Wands, Ace of Coins, Two of Swords? Okay, yeah. Um, you could be coming back together with this person. They could be a water sign, got the King of Cups under the deck. So this is kind of like saying, do we keep going? Do we give up or do we commit? And it looks like in your reading, it's showing commitment, Ten of Cups. So <clears throat> I'm going to jump to what your person would want to say to you. Just being near you is intoxicating. I'm not over you. I want to make amends and I won't let you down. Could be a timing issue. It says the timing just wasn't right for the two of you. All right. What is going on? For Virgo. Now again, for some of you, I'm kind of getting this feeling of maybe this person in the past hasn't really wanted to commit, or it could be you, Virgo. Uh, maybe, I don't want to say fear of commitment, just not really wanting to take that leap, Nine of Wands. So I'm kind of getting a little bit different vibe also for some of you. Maybe there hasn't been a lot of arguing. You're just not sure if you want to commit to the Ten of Cups with this person or, or something like that. Um, it's like the next big step is what I'm kind of getting. I feel like you will be happy though if you take this new leap with this person. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, they are saying wait, and this is my spirit guides to me talking. Okay, one more please. Okay, there's a decision, and that's what I'm seeing here. There's a decision to be made. Be patient. Okay, wow, very specific. Um, is there an apology needed? Do they need to apologize or do you need to apologize, Virgo, before things can move forward? I don't want things swept under the rug. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, but let me pull from this deck. Wait. Decision. Be patient. What does Virgo need to know about waiting? Lovers. Being brought together. Being brought back together. Waiting for them. Okay, maybe there you are no communication. So for those of you that there's no communication, you need to wait for this to come to you, which I'm sure you will. Meaning, I feel like some of you have already made a move. You're, you've, you're saying to me, we, I've already tried. I'm not going to try again. They have to come to me. So yeah. Um, is there timing? That's Gemini card. Gemini's, yeah, we already passed Gemini season, but okay. Seven of Swords. Four of Coins. Yeah. Okay. So this is a, this is this card under the deck. The timing just wasn't right is right now. The timing still is not right. A lot of you are not communicating with this person. This person may need to do some inner work, some healing or something like that, or take care of another situation. Spirit could also be bringing some of you back together. This could be a, a, a relationship for some of you where you are meant to be together. You want to be together, something like that, but it's just the timing is not good. This right here, though, tells me there's someone who is de definitely not open to this right now until we hit the Ace of Swords. They need to communicate this. They need to come to this decision on their own without being pushed. They could be waiting for other things, money, a job, other things like that. 
um, give this person some time on their own. This feels like a little bit like a personal reading. So I know what this question is then behind this, this right here. If your person just got out of another relationship or something like that, you need to just let them be and not push them. Let them have time alone or with their friends or anything like that. They are pushing you away, Seven of Wands, definitely. Um, they're not necessarily dating other people, or any, but just let them do what they want to do. You can't push someone like this because it, it'll just go bad. They could also be waiting for something, like I said, behind the scenes that you don't even know about. Um, a job, money, a family issue, other things like that to, to get, you know, yeah. yeah. Your person's a little bit emotional. They could be a water sign, but um, they could be temperamental, Virgo. This could be you, but it's probably them. Yeah. So you need, so you need this energy. Like, just be kind, just be loving, just wait, just... Um, don't be pushy. Don't not that you guys would be. I'm just throwing these out there because your reading is that's basically what it's saying. You have a new beginning. You can be happy. There will be love. There will be commitment. But it's not right now. You can't really do anything to speed this along. Unfortunately, um, they do want to make amends, but that doesn't mean like today at this very very moment. They're not over you. They need to come. They need to be the one to come back to you. They need to see this in a different way. Okay. Did I? No, I did not do this deck. Okay, let me go to this deck. Because there's a card in here. I'm wondering if it's going to come out. The Empress card or something like that. What would this person say to Virgo? Please accept my apology. Nobody compares to you. That's what they need to see. Maybe that's what we're waiting for. Okay. Nobody understands me like you. Yeah. You are the whole package. Exactly. Okay, that's what's, that's what's going on here. You make me want to do better. There's no greater love than ours. That's why the timing's not right. They're not seeing your value or your worth. Um, if they are dating other people, they're going to see, you know, there's a lot of crazy out there. There's no one, there's, you know, they could date people, but they're not going to be like you. Um, you are the whole package, Virgo, is what they're seeing. So again, that was the hangman that was under the deck when I pulled these cards. So spirit is allowing them to see what's going on around them they're comparing you to other people they're seeing what's going on etc so i get you guys get it okay what does this person like about virgo it's interesting because your reading is definitely a little different than everyone else's but what does this person like about virgo they like that you're responsible um, when you least expect it you're confident they like that you're supportive and one more thing that you guys really are a perfect match. Uh, when you least expect it, sometimes this comes out when a person likes that you do, you know, sweet things for them unexpectedly. Maybe you surprise them. So, supportive, perfect match. Okay. Um, I, I'm trying to remember I pulled from this deck. I know it's like I go through these readings and sometimes I don't remember, but something they want to say to Virgo I miss you more now that we are apart I still feel your presence your energy around me life hasn't been too nice to me and I took that out on you and you are my you are perfect in my eyes don't ever change so you got perfect in both of these decks what does Virgo need to know about this connection wedding rings so union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So there's definitely a strong soul connection here. You can see it. Some of you will get married to this person. You may already be married for a few of you. Maybe you guys are on a hiatus or split, but um, ooh, seduction, paradise, the phoenix rising. Okay, I do have to say this because I do kind of feel this is going on for some of you, not all of you. This person could be dating other people. And like I said, this is where they're going to see. There's a lot of crazy out there. There's a lot of people that, um, it's just very, I think, very unexpected when people start dating. Again, especially if they haven't dated in a while. But um, I'm kind of getting that maybe they went off on a different path. Something else or someone else seduced them. They thought it was going to be better than you or, you know, they're going to be so happy and they're not. That is why some of you are having to wait and be patient um, with this person. Now, again, some of you may not take this person back if that's the case. If they come back around, you may say no. But there is something here about like 
spirit wanted you to see that they're coming possibly back around in the future they're going to realize that, that whatever they whoever they left you for or whatever they left you for is not satisfying them it's not what they thought it was um that's the truth right here so again i mean it could be, it doesn't have to be another person i mean it could be another job a situation a family thing going on here um Because this saying, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. So for those of you that that resonates, just let it happen. Just let it play out. I know it's a difficult, but they're going to see your true heart, your true essence compared to the person they're with. And that's a whole nother reading. I mean, I would like to go down that rabbit hole and see what's going on there, but that's not really part of this reading because we're just focusing on how they feel about you and in the future. So... All right, I am going to, okay, they're also telling me though that the confidence card is coming because they do see you on your own or with your friends or doing your own thing. And that's, that's like good. You're doing your thing without them and they notice that, they see that. So anyways, I'm gonna leave it there, Virgo. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.